Hello and welcome. Next, I'm going to share uh, how to achieve unified observability for cloud and edge with Flimbit. I'm Benjamin. Um, I did the uh, Cosphere's uh, observability and edge computing team. I'm also a member of Kubeh TSC. Uh, in this session, I'm going to uh, give a brief introduction to a uh, Fluent Operator and most importantly, how to use it and Fluent Bit to achieve a uh, unified cloud and edge observability. Uh, actually, this project is, is uh, open sourced as a Fluent Bit Operator uh, by Cosphere uh, in January uh, 2019. Uh, we created this tool uh, to address the uh, problem of uh, blend bit uh, configuration dynamic reloading uh, without restarting the uh, fluent bit pod. And it is uh, donated to uh, the uh, fluent community in August last year. And in March this year, uh, we finally added fluent bit support to this project and renamed the entire project to uh, fluent operator and release the Flint operator 1.0. This is how a uh, Flint operator looks like now. We have changed all the uh, uh, Flint based series to uh, cluster wide. And we also add uh, namespace and class wide uh, series for Flint D. And you, user can use Flint operator to manage and deploy a uh, Flint based daemon site. Uh, as well as Fluent D stable side. Uh, if user want to process uh, logs from a specific namespace, uh, he can uh, define a namespace wide uh, Fluent D CRD. And uh, this CRD will allow uh, user to only uh, process log for, from this namespace and forward, uh, forward it to uh, the final uh, destinations. Uh, user can also use Flint operator, uh, can also deploy a Flint bit a daemon set only, uh, use a Flint bit to collect logs and do some simple processing and forward to the final destination. A user can also uh, deploy a Flint D uh, only. Uh, Flint D uh, receive logs from a uh, network uh, through the uh, HTTP uh, forward or syslog plugin do some advanced processing and forward to the final uh, destinations. And of course, a user can uh, use uh, Flumbit and Flumbit together, uh, deploy the Flumbit daemon site together with uh, Flumbit's stable site. And Flumbit will collect uh, cluster logs and forward it to uh, Flumbit. And uh, Flumbit do some advanced processing and forward to the final destinations. Uh, uh, since uh, release 1.0, we have uh, made some uh, big improvement. Uh, for example, uh, we have added the open search uh, plugin for uh, Flint D and Flint Bait. We have added the uh, Locky plugin. And recent, uh, in recent few months, uh, we have noticed that uh, Flint Bait uh, uh, is starting to support uh, matrix plugins. So. Uh, in release 1.5, uh, we have uh, added some uh, matrix related plugins. For example, the node exporter matrix, uh, the uh, promise uh, script matrix, the uh, film bait uh, matrix, and the promise remote write uh, plugin uh, together with uh, open telemetry uh, plugin. Uh, another important uh, improvement. Uh, in 1.5 is that we finally add the uh, uh, Flint Bit uh, custom plugin. Uh, why we add this? Uh, you may notice that uh, Flint Bit uh, is having, a, it's, it's having uh, nearly 100 plugins with, uh, now. So it's, all, it's almost uh, uh, impossible or unreasonable to uh, modify the code and release a new uh, version of Flint operator uh, to uh, meet the requirement of a new plugin. So uh, 
for uh, if user want to use a uh, uh, unsupported plugin, uh, he can simply define a custom plugin selection uh, in existing uh, input filter or output CRDs. Um, so the uh, configuration uh, the configuration of a custom plugin is just the uh, uh, original uh, Flame plugin configurations. So uh, this way, um, user can um, user can use any uh, Flame plugin uh, without change, uh, without waiting for a Flame operator release. This is the kind of wicked type of plugins and. The uh, street, uh, strong type plugins uh, will be uh, uh, added continuously as we do uh, before. Uh, we use uh, Kubash as our uh, edge computing framework. So uh, let's give a brief introduction to Kubash. Uh, Kubash is a, a SynCF incubating project for edge computing. Uh, actually, there are several uh, edge computing framework out there. Uh, for example, K3S. Uh, K3S uh, is uh, actually uh, will uh, create a single uh, entire uh, cluster in the edge location. Uh, but uh, uh, Kubash um, actually uh, will set up uh, several edge nodes in the edge location. And then um, it will connect this edge node to a cluster in the cloud uh, through a secure tunnel. So. It's a bit different with the K3S. Um, just like a regular Kubernetes node, uh, uh, Edge node is a, have a, a similar component like a Kubelet uh, called HD. HD is a lightweighted Kubelet. It's a trimmed version uh, Kubelet. Um, most importantly, HD uh, also exposes container matrices, uh, just like uh, Kubelet does. It's uh, important to uh, collect uh, edge uh, application matrices on this way. Uh, let's take a look how to achieve a uh, unified cloud and edge observability with uh, Flynn-Bait. From uh, this architecture, you can see that there is a cloud-side uh, cluster uh, deployed and also some uh, edge nodes in the edge locations. Uh, for the cloud side uh, matrix uh, to collect uh, to collect the cloud side uh, matrix, uh, we use a uh, Prometheus agent to uh, collect the matrix from uh, node exporter, uh, Kubelet, uh, Kubis state matrix, etc. Uh, we also deploy a Flint operator uh, to manage and deploy the uh, Flint bit daemon side to uh, cloud and uh, edge node. For the uh, edge node, uh, edge node is uh, actually uh, have uh, limited resources, and it uh, we shouldn't deploy many uh, component to the edge node just to uh, collect the uh, uh, observability data. So uh, that's why we use a uh, bed as an agent. We have changed the uh, uh, Prometheus agent to a uh, uh, bed. And we have removed node exporter and used Flynn-Bait node exporter matrix uh, plugin instead. And we also use Flynn-Bait uh, Prometheus uh, script uh, matrix plugin to uh, script matrices uh, from the uh, edge, edge side uh, kubelet uh, to get the container matrices. Uh, and of course, uh, there is a uh, Flynn uh, uh, daemon side deployed to uh, an edge node to collect uh, edge uh, logs uh, for application and node. Uh, you can see the benefit here is uh, uh, we only need one uh, component that is a uh, Flynn uh, for the uh, edge node. Uh, you can use a uh, Flynn bit to collect both uh, logs and the uh, matrix for edge side, uh, for edge node and edge applications. It's a perfect fit for the uh, uh, limited resource edge node scenario. Let's see uh, how we uh, deploy a uh, bit to the edge location. Uh, you can see here, uh, we define a uh, 
node affinity uh, to uh, deploy a separate uh, from beta daemon side to the uh, edge node. And you can also see that we have mount a few uh, volumes of the edge node uh, to the container uh, to the container to collect the uh, uh, node exporter matrices. Uh, to collect edge node uh, container matrices, we define a Prometheus script matrix plugin uh, to uh, collect the uh, edge node matrices. We uh, deployed a uh, uh, node exporter uh, flame bit uh, matrix plugin. And, and finally, uh, we created a, a Prometheus remote write uh, plugin uh, from, for flame bit. And this uh, plugin will remote write all the uh, matrices to a cluster size long term storage. You can you can see here. Uh, this is how we uh, uh, achieve unified uh, cloud and edge of observability with a uh, fluent bed. Um, it's very exciting to see a uh, fluent bed is starting to support uh, matrix and tracing uh, because you will have a single tool to collect, to collect all the uh, observability data. And Flinbit operator, uh, Flint operator will support these new abilities whenever uh, it's available. And uh, you are welcome to uh, participate in the uh, uh, Flint operator project as well. So uh, this is my sharing. Thank you for your time.